Hello, I'm Charlie Budd. I'm a professional painter and decorator in Stratford-upon-Avon. This is a sanding demonstration with a Festool R090, Festool Stick Fix and Handy Pad. Now this is a cabinet door from a kitchen, a kitchen where I'm painting all of it. There are about 30 to 35 doors. Quite a few of them were chipped. There was flaky paint unpainted areas, grease, so they were in quite a bad way. First of all, the cabinet door needs degreasing. Uh, I use a variety of degreases. This time I'm using a Virasol degreaser. Diluted about one to five because it's quite strong. That's also the reason that I'm using gloves um, because it is strong stuff. So whole door has to be completely degreased prior to sanding and then obviously dried so that you don't clog up the abrasives. Now for the sanding I'm using the Festool RO90 sander. It is extremely powerful, the power is adjustable, and it extracts about 95% of the dust from sanding. I'm using 120 grit granite abrasive. Uh, it's a very hard wearing abrasive. Uh, I've tried the Festool R090 with Abronet, which a lot of decorators use. Um, but for this particular sander, granite is actually better. Another advantage of the Festool R090 is that you can actually change the sanding head. So for doing larger areas uh, with more power, you can use the round head and then once you want to get into the corners, you can actually unclip the round head and put on a delta head. And this allows you to get right into the corners. Great piece of kit. Uh, expensive, definitely for the professional. There are plenty of other sanders on the market for the amateur market, but for speed, for durability, this is one of the best that there is for the professional. Now for the really detailed bits, I like to use the Festool Stick Fix, which was recommended to me by Andy Crichton of Traditional Painter. Uh, he saw another sanding video that I'd done and thought that it would be easier if I used this particular tool. So I bought one and I agree, he was completely right as usual. It is really quick and it can get right into the corners because the abrasive that you put on with the Velcro actually loops over the front lip so you can get right into awkward places and it's a very good sanding block. Now this is the important bit. Because of the surface tension on paint, when it hits an edge it will curve it will actually draw away from that edge and that means that the edge will have either no or hardly any paint actually adhering to it. So to make sure that you get a continuous film of paint, make sure that you don't have any sharp edges, that you slightly curve off any edges and that'll mean that you have a continuous paint film which will mean paint will be a lot stronger and it will last a lot longer. Now I'm using a handy pad for the mouldings. Handy pad is a foam pad that will actually bend around mouldings. I like using it with an Abronet disc because it fits perfectly from front to back but you can also curl it around the edges. 
and that means that the abrasive can curve. Now I like to make sure everything is completely smooth and I do that by eye and by touch because you can quite easily miss tiny bits purely by eye so I like to do it by touch as well. And here we are, that's completely smooth now, ready for light filling of any cracks and priming and painting. And here's that particular door, once it's been primed with Ticarilla Otex primer and two coats of Ticarilla water-based feelings top coat. And as I said, there were over 30 doors in this kitchen. Thank you for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, do so via my website, www.classbarddecorating.co.uk.